Hi guys and welcome back to another Dr. Rage video and today we're going to be playing Ride 4. Today we're going to be using the Triumph Speed Triple RS2020 and we're going to be here in Kanto for the full circuit. So it's going to be a three lap sprint to try and get to the front and win this Grand Prix. Now we'll say this is obviously on 120% difficulty AI as usually is but Kirsten Malwitz ahead of us here, the German. Giving us a bit of a run for our money. They're on the uh, slick tyres and they're on a KTM Super Duke, I think it is. And they seem to have a bit of speed. So for this one, uh, no messing around with the other AI. Just try and catch up to Mrs. Malwitz or Miss Malwitz. And uh, we'll see what we can produce. But for this Triumph Speed Triple that we have right now, it's completely stock without any upgrade at all. I have absolutely never used this bike before. And I don't know how. It looks absolutely awesome, but for some reason I just never actually used it before. So we're going to try and chase down Kirsten, which we have done already. But with the stock tyres compared to their slicks, we could have a bit of a challenge on our hands. You can see the acceleration from the corners is certainly where the German is taking advantage of the difference in tyre combinations. But we now break into the right hand of a turn 11. The circuit, of course, here in Kanto does require a lot of hard braking and a lot of gentle braking for some of the corners. It's a bit of a bit of a mixed bag of braking zones in this particular track as we get extremely close to the barriers to the right hand side but now bring it into here. I think this is where we're going to struggle the most because the more this race continues to progress the hotter that front tyre is going to become and I do con I am concerned and do very much think ahead in the sense of that tyre could be scalding hot at the conclusion of this Grand Prix here in Japan but now bringing on the power this is where I think I'm going to be able to catch up to the AI they're a little bit slower on the braking zone here so breaking up the zebra crossing giving it a lot of front brake and a lot of rear brake as well we have managed to close the gap to the German ahead as we now launch in anger to the left hand side for 19 and hopefully around the outside and back up on the inside for Barrianto 2 as we get a little bit wide there going very close to the side on the right hand side they're right into the barriers but we do hold the line for this moment in time and we go up against the KTM in a thrilling battle actually I'm quite enjoying this one being back on ride 4 as we go round the outside using that blue van as a braking reference always want to see that blue van come from the distance I can begin to start braking a flash on the camera there to the left hand side as well as we know it's all oh, very close to the apex another flash on the camera I'm certainly getting their uh, photography and now with the speed of the Triumph Speed Triple RS as we now charge down the back straights and then give it everything we've got at the 150 meter braking marker but now into the left hand side deep into turn 23 we have a half a second advantage is this the turning point of this particular race Kirsten Malwitz certainly keeping us honest at this stage of the Grand Prix as we begin lap 2 of 3 in this particular event now I do apologise for my voice in this one, I think I'm a little bit bunged up and I think I've got a cold coming, I'm, I'm shivering a little bit and I don't particularly feel too great right now but the show must go on, the content is certainly back and it's certainly coming thick and thin but with Kirsten Malwitz behind this could get rather interesting as we go into the left hand side in just a moment's time for turn 5, the tightest corner on the track here, if you go too wide and cut across the, uh, the sort of white line there you do invoke the invalidation of a time trial and also penalty time in a race situation. We're now into the right for turn 8. Must try and stay on this side of the white line again because that's another spot that does give you a bit of penalty time for really much, not much reason to be honest, but uh, look at this gap we've built up into turn 9 and now going into turn 10. It's a whole second ahead of the German behind. There's a Japanese rider there as well from home, Kazoo Waki, or however you pronounce that name. Certainly getting involved for the podium battle but you can see on the bottom left hand side of your screen on the graphic quite a big gap between a couple of riders here in Japan 11th and 12th are doing battle with the rider in 10th there you can see on the graphic but us right now we have a half a second advantage and this where is yes this is the point where my concern is going to get a little bit more and more nerve wracking you can see the front now it's a scalding orange colour that could be worse than that significantly worse on the next time around so just keep an eye on that for now but we'll be able to cool down the front stock tyre in just a moment's time with a bit of a bit of a straight here but as we look to the second zebra crossing here it is there break at the zebra crossing and we should be able to get onto the bridge without too much issues as we go into the left hand side for Burigi 2 
as we now into turn 19. But so far so good, feeling pretty confident with this Triumph, as I mentioned earlier, never actually used this bike before, so we had zero miles on the clock. But now we have seven miles, so not too bad with all things considered. Certainly not a bike I'll be getting level five of the, uh, the affiliation, but still, I am quite enjoying this bike. I think it's quite good. Shout out to that blue van on the right hand side again. Oh, did I see a double blue van then? I think there was another blue van behind it. It's the first van if uh, if you wasn't sure which the one I was referring to. But going now into the busy high street section, passing all the little shops. I'm sure there's a Londis on the corner somewhere. There usually is around here in England, but we now go to the left hand side and start to break nice and early as we get on the entry to the left hand side for the 23rd corner here in Kanto. So pretty good performance from us so far. I'm quite happy with what we've managed to do, but I'm a little bit concerned with the tyres in the bottom right corner of your screen there. The graphic depicting a somewhat warm front tyre and a somewhat warm rear, but at the same time it's uh, more on the side of getting hot rather than just optimal. So we, we do need to pay attention to that and the hard and late braking markers in some of these corners is going to really send that front tyre skyrocketing, so we have to be careful at this stage of the Grand Prix. Not, oh, there's a little bit wide there. You can see the front tyre going to orange now. Even with my gentle braking style, it's still bringing the front tyre to its boiling point. We must keep things together here. And we must also stay in track limits. We're almost cutting a corner there, or at least going wider into the corner, should I say. But up in the first split by just a smaller margin of uh, improvement. And improvement is still an improvement, nonetheless. But the uh, second split is not for a while yet, so we will be able to see if we're going to make a significant improvement on the lap time or not. But now approaching the left-hand side for turn 10, the uh, here pin, here pin 1 as a matter of fact, as we now break onto the right-hand side. Now this is the part I'm going to be a little bit concerned with now. The gap is 1.2 to Kirsten Malwitz, let's see what it's going to be after this twisty and sort of undulating section as we now go for the 13th corner bit wider on the exit is a better option there. Didn't manage it this time around but look at that front tyre. This could be scalding red in this particular section here as we go wide into the corner. The front tyre is red! Oh, the front tyre is more than red. Look at it. It's scalding. It's absolutely red raw. More than my throat will be after the end of this video, I think. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look how red that is. Ooh, but we managed it. I don't know if we could have done another lap in this one but the gap has come down to Half a second, or briefly came down to half a second, but breaking at the second of the uh, Zebra Crossing, so certainly built our gap up back to its second advantage. So that is a promising sign on board the Speed Triple, but now as we go to the right hand side, breaking in rather gentle, be very careful here as that front tyre just wants to explode, it seems. Look how hot it is. Oh, muy caliente, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very hot. <laughs> oh my goodness. But shout out to that blue van. I'm going to start using that now as I've as I, uh, seen it in the distance. We can now start breaking into City 1. Bring on the power, run it a little bit deep, and then bring it in nice and tight for the right hand side to tuck it in for City 2, and then bring on the power. But I think, ladies and gentlemen, we have got this one done. I think a 1.2 second advantage is enough to put this one to bed and to give Dr. Ace another victory here in Ride 4. I tell you what guys, it does feel good to be back on Ride 4 and now I'm using my preferred DualShock 4 controller, I feel better than ever. Can't wait to start racing online with you guys very soon. We'll start doing some streams and we'll start with our championships once again. But across the line, it is victory for us, it is victory for us all. But guys, thank you very much for watching the video, I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comments section down below. And of course, be sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing for a lot more Dots Race content. Thanks for watching and ciao for now. Oh hi, didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Race content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dot Race video.